Let us rejoice and be glad and give glory to God. For the Lord our God, the Almighty reigns. Alleluia. Today's Mass is being celebrated for Pat Morrissey and Adelina Antonio. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. To prepare our hearts to celebrate this Mass worthily and well, let us call to mind our sin. And we humble ourselves and say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that celebrating the mysteries of the Lord's resurrection, we may merit to receive the joy of our redemption. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Now those who were scattered because of the persecution that took place over Stephen traveled as far as Phoenicia, Cyprus, and Antioch. And they spoke the word to no one except Jews. But among them were some men of Cyprus and Cyrene who, on coming to Antioch, spoke to the Hellenists, proclaiming the Lord Jesus. The hand of the Lord was with them, and a great number became believers and turned to the Lord. News of this came to the heirs of the church in Jerusalem, and they sent Barnabas up to Antioch. When he came and saw the grace of God, he rejoiced, and he exhorted them all to remain faithful to the Lord with steadfast devotion. For he was a good man, full of the Holy Spirit and of faith. And a great many people were brought to the Lord. Then Barnabas went to Tarsus to look for Saul, and when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. So it was that for the entire year they met with the church and taught a great many people, and it was in Antioch that the disciples were first called Christians. The Word of the Lord. All you nations, praise the Lord. All you nations, praise the Lord. On the holy mount stands the city the Lord founded. The Lord loves the gates of Zion more than all the dwellings of Jacob. Glorious things are spoken of you, O city of God. All you nations, praise the Lord. Among those who know me, I mention Rahab and Babylon, Philistia too, and Tyre with Ethiopia. This one was born there, they say. And of Zion it shall be said, This one and that one were born in it, for the Most High himself will establish it. All you nations, praise the Lord. The Lord records and he registers the peoples. This one was born there. Singers and dancers alike say, All my springs are in you. All you nations, praise the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. My sheep listen to me, says the Lord. I know them and they follow me. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, the festival of the dedication took place in Jerusalem. It was winter, and Jesus was walking in the temple, in the portico of Solomon. So the Jews gathered around him and said to him, How long will you keep us in suspense? If you are the Messiah, tell us plainly. Jesus answered, I have told you, and you do not believe. The works that I do in my Father's name testify to me. 
but you do not believe because you do not belong to my sheep. My sheep hear my voice. I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life and they will never perish. No one will snatch them out of my hand. What my Father has given me is greater than all else, and no one can snatch it out of the Father's hand. The Father and I are one. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Friends, we continue today with Jesus talking about himself as the shepherd. I love the crowd of the Jews sort of saying, how long are you going to keep us in suspense? If you are the Messiah, just say it. Just tell us. Enough already. We're on the edge of our seats. Are you the Messiah or not? But there's nothing Jesus can say or do that will change their hearts because their hearts are hard. They're not paying attention. Check out what Jesus says in verse 27. My sheep hear my voice. I know them and they follow me. Continuing in 28. I give them eternal life and they will never perish. No one will snatch them from my hand. I know my sheep. They hear me. I will give them eternal life, and no one will snatch them from my hand. These are very, very uplifting and comforting words from our good shepherd, right? Shepherd leads the sheep to good pastures where there is provision, where they can have water and food, where they can graze at peace. He leads them out to a good day. Sheep without a shepherd are lost, right? It's like the analogy of running around like chickens without heads on. They, 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 they have no one to follow. And they get lost and confused. Not only that, they're in danger for wolves and other wild beasts can come and snatch them. They could be in harm's way without a shepherd. But with the shepherd, whose voice they know, they are cared for, lovingly, and protected. And we have this assurance that they will have eternal life and they will never perish. Never. Friends, these really are comforting words for us. Because we do have a good shepherd, one who is always looking out for us. Despite the obstacles and the burdens we face, and perhaps the unwise decisions that we make, the shepherd is always there. He knows what your future holds. Nothing is a surprise to him. I mean, we have free will. We can make our own decisions but he still comes along with us. Not just as one coming along for the ride, but one kind of watchfully caring for us. That's the good shepherd. The father has given him this flock and he cares for it. Friends, we belong to the Savior. To no one else, we belong to the Savior. And just as he laid down his life for us, he will continue to care for us. And he promises us abundant life. Where is that life? With him in the eternal amen. With him in the everlasting kingdom, the kingdom of heaven. We know his voice. And he calls us by name. Let us follow him. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
by the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. For to the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Humble spirit and contrite hearts, so that you are your sacrifice in your sight this day, be pleased with you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquities, and cleanse me from all of my sins. Pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Daniel, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Alphonsus Liguri, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so we have the courage to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, 
and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, I'm the living God, by the will of the Father, the work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the whole world. For you read this, your most holy body and blood from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me always faithful to your commandments and never let me be parted from you. Ecce agnus Dei, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The Christ had to suffer and rise from the dead, and so enter into his glory. Alleluia. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O oh, good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, hide me. Separated from you, let me never be. From the wicked enemy, defend me. At the hour of my death, call me and bid me come to you, that with your saints I may praise you forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Amen.